Hi babes, welcome back to my channel. It's Warrior Babe here. I hope you guys are having a lovely day. Welcome to all of my returning subscribers. And if you're new, make sure you subscribe before you leave. Welcome to the family. So today I'm going to be doing a, a hair dye video and basically this color was inspired by fall, you know? We're about to enter the fall season and so if you'd like to see me achieve this hair color, continue watching. Alright, before we get into this video, I just wanted to show you guys this outfit that I have on. Okay, this is a two-piece set by Crochet by Precious on Instagram. Um, all of her links and everything will be listed below, so please go check her out. This set is so comfortable and so stylish, okay? Okay, I look cute. Anyways, uh, go ahead and hit her up for your order. Um, she's based in Canada, but obviously she was able to deliver to the United States. So if you are trying to see if she delivers to wherever you are, go ahead and ask her. Tell her that SA sent you. And yeah, if you guys do end up getting um, this two-piece set, you know, tag me in the photo so I can gas you up. Okay? All right, let's get into this video. So this is what sis looks like before I've done anything. She's a 14 inch Brazilian hair bang wig from Amazon. Link to this unit is listed below. So I got the bleach and 40% developer from the beauty supply store and I'm just gonna mix them together. I used one pack to start. I would recommend pouring in the developer bit by bit just cause you don't want it to be too watery. You want it to be just thick. Once that's ready, I'm going to start applying. I was honestly going for ombre at first, but obviously that ended up changing. I wanted the top part to stay black. So you can see that I'm basically going in a circular motion and using my brush for this part to be extra safe. But again, it didn't work out as I wanted it to. If you still want the ombre on top or to keep the black on top, I definitely would recommend maybe put in foil um, over there before you even start putting the bleach on just to protect it because my issue was that the bleach ended up <laughs> going over there anyway so i end up having colors like i have some spots that are black but it wasn't just like a visible noticeable black so do that if you do want your top to be black okay when i'm satisfied with that top part i'm gonna put on my gloves and use my hands to work on the rest because that's just faster After a while, you can kind of start to see the color change. Since this is a small wig, it didn't matter too much, but if it was something with more density, I would recommend working in sections. So basically, I would suggest bleaching and washing one section and then coming back to do the same to the other section because you don't want parts of your hair to be more bleached than the other since that's gonna affect how the final color looks. Afterwards, just wrap it in foil and leave for 30 minutes. This is what it looks like after 30 minutes, kind of a light brown, and I'm just gonna wash it with shampoo and conditioner and let it air dry. I wanted my ends a bit lighter, so I repeated the process of putting the bleach on just the ends, and I used one pack for that process as well, and this is what it looked like after bleaching for 15 minutes. And then I'll shampoo and condition again. Now to the actual coloring. I used two different colors. Their names and shade colors are listed below. Also, please put down a trash bag so you don't accidentally mess up your floor. I poured in some developer and then mixed both colors in there. Now I'm just applying the dye on my hair. Make sure to cover everywhere to ensure the same color and then wrap with foil afterwards and let it sit for 20 to like 30 minutes. And then of course, wash with shampoo and conditioner.
so this is what sis is looking like at this point and as you can see she has been through a lot so i'm gonna give you all some info while i bring her back to life as i said this is a 14 inch bob wig from amazon it comes with four combs and an adjustable strap i think the wig took the color pretty well and i didn't have that much shedding when i was combing but i did have a bit of tangling however it wasn't too bad especially since it's a short wig before i bleached it it felt super soft but of course <laughs> once that bleach got in it became a little coarse but nothing too bad you're gonna see me try and tweeze it because i felt like the bangs were too full but that didn't really work out as well as i wanted it to so let me know if y'all have tips to help me for that Overall, I'm definitely satisfied with this wig. I love it. Definitely check them out on Amazon. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time on Worry Babe. Bye.